This episode was made possible thanks to generous supporters on Patreon. This is the second part of the tutorial for my track Diamond that I'm making and this piece is from my third album Opus 1880. You can listen to the track and the entire album on the links down in the description. And of course you can find the first part of this tutorial uh, down if you haven't watched it yet. <laughs> As I said in a previous episode, the entire album is recorded in A equals 444 Hz and this means that this is also the tuning for this track. The piece is in the key of C minor, which means we've got three flats and this is not so guitar friendly key, but we need to learn to play in all keys, otherwise we would be lousy musicians. So, let's get started. The intro consists of uh, just four chords and these are C minor, B flat major with D in the bass, then E flat major, Sus4 and uh, E flat major. Uh, the electric guitar uh, enters just on the second repetition of this chord progression and it plays some very simple notes. Here I rolled off the volume pot to about half or something. So I kind of get this crunchy tone, not so high gain, so it could be a little bit more gentle. And what I play here is... I start with E flat, then D, and then I play C and there is interesting turnover, a lot of ornaments, interesting ornaments here that happen. You can see this type of ornaments uh, all around uh, the track. Uh, so it's a combination of several things. It's uh, hammer on from B flat to C and there is this quick slide which goes just a uh, half step up and down. It's something that's quite popular in jazz guitar playing and I just combine these two. So this is uh, something that uh, you need just to practice a little bit and I use it quite a lot in this track so uh, prepare to play a lot of these. So the melody in the beginning and finally after this ornamenting thing I end on B flat so and then we've got so we start from F and we play F, G, E flat, B flat and then slide to G. So the entire section. And finally just one more part which leads us to uh, the first version of the chorus part. So we've got F, E flat, and then we slide up to C, and on this C actually the the piece kind of starts. So the entire figure. And here the electric guitar makes a small pause and this is where the chords from the chorus parts are playing. This is the acoustic guitar part which is the first part of the tutorial. There is a tab for it and there will be also a tab for the entire solo but only if you support me on Patreon. Then the lead guitar continues with uh, some figures that are outlining the chords. So we've got C minor, it's uh, again one of these um, open position chords that I like very much, I use everywhere. 
-hmm. So we've got C, G, E flat. And then we've got D and B flat, which is already when the next chord is coming. Uh, G minor. So the both things together. And this outlines these two chords. Uh, then over the next two chords the guitar plays again the same kind of thing we play E flat major again open position so it's uh, A flat E flat C and then we slide down to B flat the both figures together then the next figure is something that outlines uh, F major chord. So we start from B flat and there is an ornament here. So B flat, C, B flat, A, F, C. And then uh, D and a small bend up to E flat and back to D. So the entire figure and some nice vibrato at the end. And we end the entire figure by, or yeah, I think it, it was with a slight. So it's C. B natural and C again. Uh, the entire part. Here we uh, have kind of intermediate and there the electric, the lead guitar also plays just uh, a couple of notes here and there according to the chord progression so here we've got G, C and then we've got a double stop uh, we play together E flat and B flat and then we've got A and F so and here we've got some figure. So A, B flat, A again, G, F. So. And here we do another double stop. It's C on the bottom string. On the top, this is F, and we hammer on to G. And then C, G, and slide to F. And this F actually happens uh, during this D flat chord. It's part of the chord. And this is the last chord of this section. Then we move to the first verse type of section and here we play something that's very close to the acoustic guitar part and we start on an offbeat so the first note we kind of do uh, this <laughs> it's almost like a hiccup we don't actually play it but we kind of imagining imagine it so we again outline a chord this is a C minor so we play G C D and then hammer on to E flat so this kind of makes it C minor added 9 and finally we end on uh, G up here and then we've got uh, the next note is D, but it's approached by a uh, descending slide. So. And 
then we've got two short notes. It's a C and B flat, just to close the figure. And we cut them off abruptly here. The next figure is a uh, slide from B flat to C, then E flat, and we go back to B flat. Again, this is descending slide to the last note. And a nice uh, dramatic vibrato there. Then we start again with the same figure at the beginning. But here the development is a little bit different. We do a slide to G from F sharp to G. And then we do this small uh, hammer on and pull off uh, from G to A flat and back to G. And finally we play F here with the slide. So it's a very saxophone type of lick. And here we've got B flat here and then B flat up here. A flat here, which is like the seventh degree to the chords. And then again, some ornamenting. We slide to A flat. And we do these pull-offs, B flat, A flat, G, and then descending slide to F and pull off to E flat, and then again we play F the entire figure. So uh, this figure again connected. The next part starts again with the same, just like in the beginning. Here we've got a different chord though, we've got F major and again we outline the chord. So this is just a very simple chord, F, A, C, F, and then we do a slide from D to F. E flat, which is where the chord is changing. The next figure is uh, A flat major. So we kind of outline again a chord. We start with a small slide from G to A flat. So then C, E flat small slide to G, again the same type of ornament here, and then F, and after that the two B flats that we had in the previous figure. And here we've got uh, the closing figure. So we start from F, G, A flat, and back down again. But here, instead of playing F here, we do a slide from E flat on the third string, and then back to uh, E flat. And here I do some fancy stuff, which I often <laughs> mess up. And these are tapping harmonics. I made a video about tapping harmonics, which I will also put in the description in case you're interested in that. So these are essentially just tapping with the soft part of the finger on the harmonic spot. So uh, in this particular case, we got octave, then we've got fifth, and again, uh, two octaves. So this is uh, 
20 frets, which is one octave above E flat. Then we've got 15 fret, which is where B flat is located. And the pitch that you produce is also B flat. And the last one is on the 13th fret, and uh, this is where A flat is located, but we are actually producing E flat as harmonic. So this one is very difficult to, to produce, and this is why usually I turn the volume just a little bit up so I make sure that uh, I will have these notes uh, right. Then uh, we continue with the next figure. It starts again just like most of the previous ones. This is just like the first one, the third one and so forth. So it's kind of having the same beginning but we developed it in a different way. And then we've got D flat major. So we start from F, A flat, D flat, and then we've got the added 9 here, E flat. And here is the phrase that prepares us to the chorus section. And we are just going up to the scale, so A flat, B flat, C. D, E flat, and slide from E flat to uh, F, and this is where I turn up the volume all the way up. So we start with this bend on B flat, it's a whole step bend. And this type of warming up and we uh, reached the chorus section this repeats uh, one more time it's identical so i will show it just once it starts from up here it's e flat it's kind of simple melody but what makes it beautiful and fancy is a lot of ornamenting so E flat and then we do a hammer on from C to D and then the same ornament that you saw several times before so slide from half step below and then this hammer on and pull off this happens from B to C and then the hammer on is uh, on D flat here we've got B flat and then a slide from A flat to B flat. So uh, then the next figure. So this is a simple melody. We start from F, we go all the way up to uh, A flat and, and go down to E flat. It's uh, just we're playing the scale in the key of C minor, so nothing strange here. And then we've got another figure. So we slide from F to G. And then we play B flat here on the second string. And then on the first string we do quick hammer on. It's again an ornament, hammer on from E flat to F and then this small slight half step up and down, so and then pull off to E flat, so and at the end we add these two notes, B flat and a flat, which are supposed to lead us back to the melody, which is like repetition of the same motif. Uh, there is a little bit of variation here. 
I just add one more note here, so it's E flat, G, E flat again, E flat, G, E flat, hammer on from C to D, and then pull off from E flat to D to C, and then slide from B flat to C and we go all the way down to G so and the next figure is F major and again it starts with all these uh, ornaments so here we play essentially F major at 11, but with the ornaments. So we slide to B flat again from half step below, and we do this quick hammer on and pull off thing, and pull off again to A, F, C, B flat, A. Then G, which is like preparation for the last note, which is slide from F to G here because this is where the chord is changing. And here we just finish the figure with a slide from C to D on the fourth string. And then we play G. So Then we start over the same figure from the beginning. And here, this is the ending of the chorus part. So we just play again notes from the C minor scale F G A flat and here we do small slide just like before it's just an ornament and we go down on the notes of the scale we repeat the E flat and we do this ornament again F, E flat, slide to D. And we slide from B flat to C, which is the beginning of the next part. Here we play just long notes. This is again the uh, intermediate type of part. So C, B flat, A, G, F, and finally this guitar ends on uh, E flat, and the solo continues on another track because it starts with so this uh, part. While this guitar plays this E flat, the other one plays this C up here. And this is where we start with the uh, second verse. So this is uh, the same themes that we had uh, in the previous verse, just it's an octave higher with a little bit more ornamenting. So here we play the same figure just like just uh, here we don't do the hiccup thing but we start directly from C so C G C D to A flat and G on top and then the descending slide to D this uh, here there is an ornament that is missing in the previous part so, 
from D we hammer on to E flat and go down D C B flat and then the figure is just like before so slide from B flat to C E flat and descending slide to B flat and then a small ornament here which is from A flat hammer on and pull off uh, with B flat and then slide down to G then we start again with the same type of figure this is exactly the same thing as before the only difference is it's, there is one octave higher and here there is a figure which I add as a uh, a little bit of a variation so this is F E flat B flat G E flat D C you can think of this as a E flat major added 9 chord and then we have D and C just to go back to C minor. Here we continue with yet another variation, but this time we drift off a little bit more from the first verse. We start again with outlining the C minor with G, C, D, E flat, and then there is a slide from F to G on the second string and then B flat on first string so and then there is a little bit of things happening beyond 24th fret so uh, it's possible of course to transpose them down but it won't really sound well uh, So this is G, B flat, and F on the 25th fret. Uh, if I play it on octave down, it will be. And then there is even higher figure, which is. So this is essentially F major chord. It starts with F, G. A, C, F, if I play it low. This is exactly the same note, just an octave higher. And here after F we got G and A flat because this is uh, where the chords uh, are switching from F major to F minor so we start as an F major chord but then in the phrase at the end we switch to F minor here we've got C and B flat and then there is a long uh, F minor 7 arpeggio which spreads all the way down to the 8th string so uh, it will be a little bit challenging to play this on fewer strings but uh, we essentially repeat three times the same figure in different octaves it starts from E flat then C A flat F slide to E flat and this is where the, the same figure repeats one more time so you can see it's just the same pattern repeating three times and here we enter the figure by uh, hammer on from D to E flat on seventh string and then C and B flat on eighth string and then on fifth string there is 
E flat and D it's like uh, playing B flat C7 and then B flat major. This is the idea of the melody. So and then we continue it. It's uh, bent on G to a flat and then uh, going down to F. So after this figure we play E flat, we slide and so this is uh, happening over F major chord so this is why we have a uh, note that's out of the key. So uh, we start from D and there is this ornament D, E flat, D, C, B flat, A and the entire figure. Then we repeat this A and this pretty much ends the phrase. So A, hammer on to B. A again, G, F, and here we end on E flat on octave with a little bit of tremolo uh, with the tremolo bar. Uh, this is where the beginning of the next chorus starts. So. And we play E flat and then D on octaves. Uh, this idea is just to create the illusion of two voices overlapping and just then one is just disappearing and then just the guitar continues here. Just like before, so uh, we've got And then the entire course is the same. But here instead of going down to C we go to E flat here because this is where the modulation is happening and we are already in the key of E flat minor and this is where the solo comes. So the solo uh, the first figure is uh, again outlining chords because usually when I phrase a solo I base my solos on the chord progression and the best way to emphasize a chord is to play arpeggio type of figure um, or phrase call it as you wish and this is my usual approach so we start from B flat E flat F G flat B flat E flat again G flat We've got a lot of flats. E flat minor is even less guitar friendly key. It has six flats. Six flats. So it's uh, according to this figure. It's I mean, if you just play a simple uh, E flat minor chord, this is. And here I do the same type of ornamenting like everywhere in this song. And then it's an E flat down to C flat. Slide from A flat to B flat. And then hammer on from G flat to A flat. And then so this is G flat, slight half step, 
again this hammer on pull off thing and then D flat B flat and then I repeat the same figure one more time and then I add two more notes A flat G flat and then there is uh, an arpeggio which is C flat major 9 it starts from C flat here with a slight half step down and half step up then here we play E flat it looks very much like this arpeggio which you should know but with just a couple of notes changed so E flat G flat B flat D flat here this is like the ninth E flat G flat slide from A flat to B flat and then ornamenting it starts as the 30 second notes 30 second because the tempo of the song is very slow it's 60 bpm and here on this note it turns into quintuplet and here there is a bend from C flat whole step up and then when you return here there is this chromatic descending part which is again kind of ornamenting and then two notes after that this is B flat and then G flat so the entire figure After that there is a run which pretty much uh, goes down to E flat minor scale uh, It's uh, pattern based so there is a bend here uh, from A flat to B flat and then we play several notes from the scale A a flat, G flat, F, E flat and then we continue playing these four note patterns each time starting from the next note so there are two patterns, this one starts from this note and then from this and then there is a quintuplet group so it starts from E flat then there is a sextuplet part it starts from C flat and here we've got a little bit of pinky work hammer on and then dark figure And the next note is F, this is already the next bar. And we play F, E flat, D flat, and slide up to B flat. With the same kind of ornamenting. So And we've got the closing phrase. We start from A flat, G flat, F, E flat. And then we do a small transition to the next section. So we've got these two notes. And then we enter the next figure, which is like a reprise to the theme from the chorus so this is uh, C flat, B flat 
the same type of ornament, a hammer on, then the uh, half step slide. It's a uh, hammer on to A flat, pull off to G flat, and here a slide to E flat. And then we've got. So this is G flat, C flat, G flat again. It's like an inverted power chord. And this is F. And we just go down using the scale. And again with this ornament with the pull offs. Then B flat slide from A flat to B flat and high B flat. So and now we are approaching the last chorus, which is a little bit different because it's like more uh, of a solo type of chorus. It starts again with uh, a volume pot that's rolled down to have like uh, gentle, gentle sound. And I do this by uh, plucking with my finger instead of the pick. And this creates this uh, very soft sound. And here I turn up the volume and this is where the drum center. And here I've got the same figure as before. And just at the end, I do a small add-on. Originally it's... And here I just do at the end. And then this is like before. And then the last three notes are different. So it's D, E flat, B flat. Uh, and the entire figure. And there is a descending run over F major chord. These are regular scale patterns, uh, four note pattern. So it's three patterns. And then there is a sextuplet uh, legato lick. It's again following the scale. And then The entire figure goes like this. And at the end we just slide from F to G, which is again where the chord is changing. Then we play some phrases which are pretty much arpeggios. So this is just like a regular minor arpeggio. We start from G, then down from uh, E flat, and we go up, and finally we play F. And then the next chord is like B major, and we do the same type of figure. So we start from first string here, 13th fret, then we go up from the fourth string and after that we play E flat so and then we go up uh, using a scale so we start from G 12th fret A flat B flat C D E flat F G and the ornament. Then there is uh, this phrase which goes on octaves. 
So this is A flat, B flat and C and finally go down to G and each of these are on octaves. And then we've got this is the transition to the next phrase. It's F, E flat, F. And then there is a descending pattern which is again arpeggio type. It's D flat major added nine. So in the entire figure. And here we kind of press a little bit the tremolo bar. Then we've got again the arpeggio type of figure. So this is like uh, playing over C minor arpeggio. We start from E flat, G, C, D, E flat, F, D, then we play a similar type of figure based on G minor. So G, B flat, C, D, E flat, C. So the both figures together. And finally we've got uh, E flat figure. It starts from fourth string. It's C. So C, E flat, A flat, C, D, B flat, A flat, and B flat again. And the final figure of the chorus is a uh, legato run with a little bit of Womi bar. So it's uh, going down uh, using uh, notes from A flat Ionian. So the pattern is, we start from F, so F, G, A flat, and here we press the bar, and we play six notes, descending legato, and two notes, hammer on. So it's uh, um, entirely eight note pattern. And here we do a slide to F and we do the same kind of idea. Uh, we go down using three notes per string and we hammer on the last two notes back and we slide again to the next degree of the uh, scale. This is D flat and again we press the bar and we go down uh, using legato, but this time we go down three strings. And finally we slide to B flat. Then go to figure. And now we are go back to the outro, which is the same as the beginning, the same notes, at least at the start. Again with the volume turned down. These are the same as the beginning, and then we've got C, D, E flat, slide to F, slide to B flat, and this is the ending phrase. So B flat, A flat, G. We repeat G and slide all the way up to E flat here. So So if you like what I do and you like this tutorial, uh, consider supporting me on Patreon on the link down in the description where you can get access to all kinds of 
interesting things like tabs for this and for many other things audio downloads exclusive materials and the membership starts as low as three dollars per month and if you prefer to support me by a single donation you can do so using the paypal me link below if you're a first time viewer please subscribe to my channel and click that bell notification button to get informed when i upload new video see you next time and remember practice makes perfect mm -hmm.